We're here conducting our annual training and we have an amazing training opportunity to do construction projects at eight different sites around the camp. So we'll be doing missions of vertical construction, utilizing our electricians, plumbers, carpenters, our mechanics, our cross training with the mechanics here. And we have two sites that we're doing heavy equipment operations. So we have a lot of new junior soldiers that just joined us recently from AIT and this is an excellent opportunity to put all that school skills that they learned actually to practice. This is our stone quarry. Um, basically the first day we got out here there was no stockpiles at all. We went ahead and built a stockpile here. All we've been doing really is basically loading the trucks up so we can get the stone out to the job sites that's where they need to be at. Three to four scoops of this bucket will do it. We're actually taking a road that's been beaten up and kind of straightening it out for these guys that use it here more often. Keeping about a two degree slope on it so the water runs down. We cut a V-ditch there at the end of the V-ditch. We're actually gonna dig a opening for a culvert pipe, install the culvert pipe there. And at the very end of it, it's gonna be a parking lot. We have several pavilions, there's 12 of them. And we inspected them to see if there's any damage as far as dry rot or missing pieces that we need to repair. There's about two of them that need to be almost totally repaired as far as the roof goes. And as far as what we do today, it is pretty much power washing them all to make sure they're all clean and look good uh, for the public. And we're also just breaking up the leaves so we can get that organized. Camp Santiago provided an excellent opportunity for our soldiers. A lot of times we have difficulty finding places where they can dig and they can use a lot of the heavy um, equipment. It's hard to get the permits in order to do that. So this was an excellent opportunity. Plus, this training site was able to purchase the materials for us and have them ready on site. And it also provides a cultural experience. The unit's gone to the Dominican Republic and El Salvador, building schools and doing projects for different communities. So it was an opportunity to, to experience a new area and definitely help the National Guard and our brothers and sisters in Puerto Rico out.